It's Tuesday, September 13th, and it's 5.47 in the afternoon. And we've made it all the way down to Canada's deep south once again for a fall trip. We're here at Wensler's Bed and Breakfast near Wheatley, Ontario. We decided this time down we weren't going to camp. So we've decided to do the bed and breakfast thing for a change. We've never really done that to any degree. So we found this site online and it sounded good. And we've just had a look around and it looks beautiful here. They have beautiful planted gardens and 26 acres or so of land to wander around on. So we're just down for a few days, but we made it around Toronto today in uh, fairly good fashion. So we're finally here now after a whole day drive. Kentucky coffee trees planted here along with pin oaks and white pines and mulberries. Quite a combination. It's Wednesday, September 14th at 8.55 a.m. And we're just walking down to the point at Point Pelee National Park, the most southern tip of Canada. We're here for a second fall in a row, out to enjoy the southern Ontario landscape. Amazingly, it's been 50 years since I first came here. I can't believe it. May of 1972, a group of friends and I and uh, a leader from our local naturalist club brought us down here in a big station wagon. And we had a great first weekend at Point Pelee. And here I am 50 years later, still enjoying it. And the morning's beautiful. It's sunny and about 20 degrees and calm right now. It's 9.50 a.m. and we just had a little visit to the point and we looked at the monarch butterflies and got some nice pictures there in little groups. Probably several hundred butterflies collected in that one area. And we're walking up the west side here now. The wind is coming from the southwest so it's a bit wavy on the west side. But uh, that's tending to keep the migrants here on the point which is a good thing probably. Seems like the hawks haven't really started migrating through here in any big way yet, but that could start happening at any time. Blue jays are building up gradually, but lots of warblers here this morning, so hopefully we'll have a good warbler count after this trip.
as we walk down this western footpath there's quite a bit of monarch butterfly activity you can probably see them in the video here flying around and here's a little nice group of three sitting on the end of this bladder nut here here's the here we are oh and look at this we got a nice green darner dragonfly and another skimmer it looks like i don't know if that'll show up guys are just resting out waiting for the winds to become favorable right now we got a southwest wind so they can't take off to get across Lake Erie they have to sit here until we get a north wind or a northeast wind and then they can go and it's a mad rush to get south Lots of monarchs out here along this trail. There must be several thousands in the Southern Point area in general, just given the numbers we're seeing along here. Already several hundred just along the trail here and many migratory dragonflies, as you might be able to see here. There's hundreds of those or thousands of those as well. These are antlion pits, the larval form of a insect that digs these pits and then ants come along and fall in them and the larva sits at the bottom and then grabs the ants when they fall down. Just coming up to noon and we've been slowly making our way around the woodland trail and we'll be coming out at the visitor center before too long. There's a lot of birds along here this morning, a lot of warblers and thrushes and things and uh, they're just very hard to see most of them but we're gradually accumulating species as we go. Taking photos of a few of them, oven bird, red start, hummingbirds So just had a brief lunch break and had some watermelon and some drinks and a muffin and now we're heading down Schuster Trail towards the east side of the peninsula from the parking lot. It's still mainly sunny and breezy from the west. So the day continues beautiful here along the East Beach. 
just come out on the Schuster Trail. We're going to head back on Schuster to Tilden Woods Trail and walk around that now, I think. And then maybe pop up to the Marsh Boardwalk Trail this afternoon. See how it goes. Just a beautiful day right now. Feels like about 26 or 27 degrees. Really nice. Well, it's Wednesday, September 14th, and we're here on the Marsh Boardwalk at four o'clock. Had a good day of birding so far. Just gonna go around here and see what we get. So it's five o'clock and we're here at Freddy's restaurant on Peely Boulevard. Is this Peely Boulevard or is this Point Peely Drive? <laughs> Just north of the park. Anyhow, we're gonna have a quick supper and then we're gonna head back to the park and down to the point for dusk to see if we see any roosting large numbers of monarch butterflies greater than we saw this morning. We'll try and hit there by dusk and then back out of the park probably by 7.30 or 8 or so. Back to our bed and breakfast for another wonderful evening in Wheatley. Diane ordered the Mediterranean wrap and I got the mixed bean falafel and hopefully it won't be awful or I might have to walk out of here without paying. How do you do that? They're all along here. Yeah, around the corner. Well, it's 6 30. We've had dinner and we've come back down to the point. We're just walking out on the very tip of Point Pelee now on the sand spit. It's growing in length this year compared to last year. And then there's a break and then there's another little bit of the spit beyond that with a lot of gulls and cormorants sitting on it. But we're just going to go to the end of the main spit here before the break. Here we are, the southern tip of Canada. And there's just a bit more sand spit out there beyond this point. But this is as far as you can walk. And there's the point for the rest of Canada. Beyond this point, that's as far as you can walk. 